TV antennas have come a long way from the days of rabbit ears covered in tinfoil. Yeah, now they're enjoying a renaissance with more and more people cutting the cable cord. So which one should you buy? Consumer Reports offers some top picks. Here's Michelle Lee. Chris Patterson and his family cut the cord years ago and started using an antenna to watch things like sports on Sunday and their local news. One of his favorite things about having an antenna? There's no monthly fees and you don't have to have any sort of contract with a cable company or any other company. Consumer Reports recently tested indoor antennas of different shapes and sizes in homes both in the city and in the suburbs. In our tests, most models were able to receive dozens of free over-the-air channels. One that did well is the Wingard Flatwave Amped. It has a super thin design you can mount on a wall or a window. And some good news for bargain shoppers. Our tests found little correlation between price and performance. One example, this budget model from Naxa, which combines the rabbit ears and loop design of classic antennas with more modern features. No matter which antenna you use, there are several factors that impact the number of channels you'll get. Some you have control over, others you don't. Where you place your antenna can be really important. We suggest placing it as high as you can and preferably close to a window. Other factors like where you live and what's around your home, like buildings or trees, can also impact reception, which means you may need to try several models before finding the best antenna for your space. So Consumer Report suggests you shop somewhere with free returns and exchanges. As for Chris, he found another benefit to his antenna. A couple years ago when there was a major storm and the cable went out in town for a couple days, if you had an antenna, you could still watch TV. Michelle Lee, Five on Your Side.